There was a time about 10 years ago where I was sleeping on an air mattress in my friend's home in one of his spare rooms. I had just come back from New Orleans after doing a year of volunteer work willingly and I had an amazing, amazing experience all by choice and I will never forget all the things that I learned and felt spending that time down there with families in New Orleans post-Katrina. But I was emotionally and financially wrecked by the time I returned to the Boston area after that experience. And it paid off in so many ways. Living on my friend's floor, barely being able to even give him money for bills or rent for those six months. And by the way, I spent another few months or so on a friend's couch, also in the local area, while I got myself back on my feet. And it was a very humbling time. In a lot of ways, it was difficult and challenging, but it was also extremely humbling because prior to New Orleans, I had a six-figure job. I had been with my second technology company in a row, and I had a house in Scottsdale, Arizona, and that was when I decided I wanted to go to New Orleans and give back. I had been working on myself and focused on my career for 10 years straight, and I just wanted to give back in a different way. And I thought I'd go to New Orleans for about three months to volunteer, and I ended up staying for 14 months, worth every ounce of energy cost, finance, and energy that I had, but then I had to replenish myself. So a question, and that, by the way, set such a good example for me internally to humble myself, to get grounded again with perspective about what we need to do in this life to create our path, that things aren't just handed to us, that we have to work hard. I'll give you an example. When I came back from New Orleans, I thought after with all my corporate experience to that date and then doing 14 months of volunteer work down there, I really assumed This is the God's honest truth, that I would be gobbled up by several companies. I would have offers within a month of being back in Boston after that experience. None of it happened. It was in the time of the economic downturn in 2008, and I'm sure that had something to do with it, but I was presumptuous. I thought this stuff was going to come easy. And I look back now where 10 years later, I I ended up gaining so much more great experience in corporate and in leadership roles, and now I'm two years in. As a coach, I look back and think how grateful I am for that time where it taught me another level of humility and an appreciation for building and creating what it is that I want. So I'm here to share with you today, what is it, no matter where you are in life right now, what is it that you want? What is it that you want to create? What is it that you are doing? What actionable steps are you taking to bring your performance up so that you can bring more freedom into your life and have the things you want to have, to do the things you want to do? I have a life now, even though I had bottomed out emotionally and financially, this is 10 years ago now, it's over 10 years ago, but I did the work, I always kept my eye on where I wanted to go, I would visualize the life I wanted to create for myself, and I went back and I regained my footing, I built myself back up mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially to give myself the runway to create what I want, and after several more years in corporate, I then became a coach. And now I'm a high performance coach because I've been there and I know what it takes and I know how to help people just like you to raise your level because you deserve to not only have freedom, we all deserve that. You deserve not only to have freedom, you deserve to have the life that you want on your terms that's in your control so you can do the things that you want to do. And that doesn't come at the cost of anybody else. It comes at the sacrifice that you make so that then you can give back more to all those around you, loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, partners, clients, you're going to be able to give back more and more because of all the vision that you have in the life that you want to create and the freedom that you bring in for yourself, but you have to take action. Are you ready to create that life? Are you ready to follow and do a similar path like me and many others so that I can do and make the impact that I want? You can do the same thing. You can have that impact. You can have that fulfillment every single day. I always say, you know, when I was in corporate and there's nothing wrong with traditional jobs, if you're in one now, fantastic, but you deserve to be fulfilled and feeling impact, not just once a quarter and certainly not just once a year at review time or when you get a bonus or a raise or promotion, you deserve it every day and every week, but that's up to you. It's not up to your employer and it's not up to your boss. It's up to you. So are you ready to invest? to create that life that you want. I hope to see you really soon. If you need the help, I'm here to support you as a performance coach. If you need and want help, I'm here for you any time, as long as you're willing to take action and we'll create that path. I'll guide and support you while you create and own the path that brings you to an amazing life here on out. I'll see you soon.